Hello, this is Matt. I'm going to show you real quick how to update your profile and also put a picture in so I can see what you guys look like. So I'm doing this because a lot of students have questions on it. It's kind of hard to find. So once you um, log into Moodle, right, you'll see this on the screen and uh, you see a list of courses. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the MEMS design course. Now I'm logged in as my student persona, Matt MEMS. So if you ever see me online as Matt MEMS, um, that's me um, pretending to be a student and the reason I do that is to make sure the um, the online stuff works for you really well so once you're in your course and perhaps even before you are in your course but once you've logged in you can um, go up to the corner where there's this little drop down menu over here I hope you can see that um, if you click on the drop down you'll see profile if you click on profile Moodle will take you to your profile and you can edit your profile so these are a list of courses that you're enrolled in and you can look up other things here like when you first access the site the last time you access the site all that kind of stuff but the the key to this thing is I wanna edit my profile because as you can see I don't have a picture of myself there so I go to edit profile and this comes up and you can change your your name if you want to you can change the email address that all your um, emails are going to from the course. Okay, you can write something about yourself, which is probably a good idea, so other students can figure out who you are. Um, but then you have this thing down here that says user picture. Okay, so you can use your Gravatar if you have one um, already set up. Um, usually people don't. I don't even know what a Gravatar is, quite to uh, tell you the truth. So you can use this here to create a new picture. This button here, this is to add things to this um, field over here. You can also click and drag. So if you have another window open, you can click and drag your picture into it um, if you want to do it that way. I'm going to do it old school. I'm going to go find it in my directory and, and then um, um, connect to it. So you want to upload a file from your desktop. That's usually how you do it. You go to choose file. Okay, go to your pictures or wherever you've got your your photograph that you want to use. You find it. You select it. Okay, and then um, in, then you hit open. Okay, to upload it. So you know if you have a Windows machine, it'll be a little bit different than an Apple machine. So you can see I've chosen the file. You can uh, save it with a certain name. I'm just going to say uh, Matt Mems Avatar. Okay, I probably spelled Avatar wrong, but that's okay. Then you just hit Upload File, and there it is. And you can put a description under it. You can just say Matt Mems. Right, and then you update your profile. So it might take a second or two for it to upload, but you can see there's your picture. Okay, so if I go back to my home directory, okay, go back into the system, you can see my picture is way up here in the corner, and other people will see it that way. Okay, so I hope that helped you. Have a great day.